So trails report this week, we're gonna go a couple places. Central Colorado, let you know what the snow line is, give you some trail updates, how far you can get in certain places, and hopefully even swing a gate. So this week we're back above Cottonwood, outside of BV, it's Cottonwood Lake, totally open. Still some decent snow over there on the north side of the hill. Uh, we're over here, just airing down, uh, and dumping pressure so we can go see where the snow line is up here above the lake in the mineral basin uh, and see how far we can go. So we're about 10.5. I'll flip the camera around in a minute and show you, but this is about where snow's starting to impact the road. Uh, maybe not all the way across, but three quarters of the way across the road with some deep drifts. So last time we were up here, that tree there was under the snow. We could see it on the side, but we went over top of it. So we'll see about, he's cutting some of it right-hand side over here out of the road first, then we'll keep going up. So now I'll walk over here. We're at the Ptarmigan Interchange, uh, Jones Mountain, Ptarmigan Lake. So this is 349. Whoa, it slipped in the snow there. So we were here almost a full month ago. You can see some pictures. It was really deep then. There's like a little bit showing on the sides and then on this south facing slope, there's a little bit that's open, but then it'll get into the creek crossing and the trees up there is really deep. Obviously down on the main road, uh, bottom here, still pretty deep. So we probably won't go up Ptarmigan today just because you won't be able to go very far, it won't be worth it, and we'll continue on mineral basin. see lots of sled tracks out there it's mountain pretty good there's only by looking at those posts only probably a couple feet of snow still out in the field it's you know it's close to that in the road where the road is too So probably have to turn around here. Uh, this is right at 11,000 feet. There's a couple open patches uh, below some of the trees facing south, but uh, there's easily two feet of snow still up here on the ground in the road. Um, so it's a good place. Found a spot to turn around. Uh, so we'll head back down from here. So Mineral Basin, deep, deep snow. You can make it to about 11,000 feet. Uh, really dry conditions, you can make it just to above the Green Timber Gulch turnoff. So 
we're back over on the St. Elmo side now. Uh, just airing down up here in the parking lot. There's still quite a bit of snow up here. We'll go, we'll go over, we're checking the trail today for the Forest Service. See if we're gonna be able to open that gate that they have on uh, the first part of Tin Cup now for the seasonal closure. So we'll, uh, we'll go see what the snow looks like. All right, so we're heading through St. Elmo. We'll go swing that gate real quick and be able to go look at the conditions. I'm going to send them a bunch of pictures and stuff and see what they say. We're getting pretty close to the Colorado Trail intersection. Um, the road is fairly accessible without snow all the way across it up to about the avalanche chute. Uh, the really big one that kept the road closed for quite some time in 2019 that we cleared. Uh, so a couple miles up there and then, you know, it's, it's fully snow packed and pretty deep after that. We'll uh, get out of the Jeep up here and we get to Colorado Trail intersection and show you. So here's the Colorado Trail intersection up here, crosses uh, the pass right there. There's still quite a bit of snow. I mean, we're floating on uh, one, maybe one and a half feet of hard packed snow we're going up. So now we'll keep heading up and see what it looks like in the trees up here, how deep it gets. gonna be windy so I'll try and make this quick but we're on top of Sawmill Hill now that's right up to the summit and it is deep up here uh, we were here last year on like May 7th before there was the closures in effect and there wasn't quite this much snow so it's gonna easily be late June to early July for sure before we're able to uh, assess when we could dig out you know the top of tin cup up there but it's you look all the way around it's still pretty pretty much white up here so right up there is the Hancock town site uh, it looks man almost identical to last year we were up here on May 21st and it looked very very similar to these same conditions up here last year so I would say snow levels at least right here on the Hancock side are about in line with where we were last year maybe a little bit deeper on the tin cup side uh, than where we were last year on the 21st but there's there's still a lot of snow everywhere up here so we're not gonna it's definitely not gonna be an early season for opening that's for sure we're headed back down now so that's what it looks like everywhere above st elmo still really deep snow starting about 11 7 um, where it really impacts roads Get these closures off and uh, yeah people can start venturing out it's at least a nice option to be able to drive up to where the snow line is and then turn around and drive back down We'll go check Antero here real quick. I'm sure you can't get very far, but we'll go look at the snow or the ice flow. And then up here, it'll be a little bit longer uh, before this corner on an in cut here is, is open to be able to get farther up Antero. So not very far, maybe half a mile. <laughs> 